relationships if based on lies can cause a lot of problems challenges stress on the couples welcome to my channel all for health with jane lady zama whose real names are yamikani janet banda is a south african singer and songwriter some time ago, Lady Zama accused her then boyfriend Jabulani Hadebe, who is known professionally as Zjava. Zjava is a South African singer, rapper, and actor. Zjava is allegedly a married man who, anyway, got uh, uh, South Africa confused when he was romantically linked with Lady Zama. Maybe as an African man, his intention was to take her as his second wife. Family, I think it is important to explain this information about these people we are going to talk about in full because some of my subscribers are not South Africans and may not follow. Let's go back to the main reason why we are doing this video. Some time ago, Lady Zama accused Zjava of sexually violating her. What is confusing to everyone is that, according to Lady Zama, this violation was the first activity to their romantic relationship, meaning before this violation, these two were not in love. Their romantic relationship started after this violation, which is very, very strange. A person forces himself on you, thereafter you start developing feelings for him. Years after, when both of you start fighting, the boyfriend starting to show he is no longer interested in you. You start to remember that, Kathle, Kathle, on our first doing, I did not consent to that. This person forced himself on me. This is a very unique case. I believe not only in South Africa, but in the whole world, such a case has never been there. When Lady Zama comes out to the public claiming the RAPE by Java, South Africa feels she is lying, she is wrong, and says she is falsely accusing Java and wants Java to go to jail for something he did not do. Can you blame South Africa for believing this? I also personally see it as pure blackmail. According to me, Lady Zama wants to hold Java hostage. Even if Java feels she does not love her anymore, Java must not go anywhere, fearing that Lady Zama will expose him. Family, the short video with an audio recording that we're just going to watch and listen to. The first part of it, Lady Zama explains how Java did the thing to her without her consent and how they thereafter ended up having a romantic relationship. The second part, which is an audio recording, it is clear these two are no longer together. It shows that Java is no longer interested and Lady Zama is still so very much in love with this guy. Let's watch and listen and will give my comment after. I do know is that Jabulani raped me. I did not give him consent. I told him to stop. And that's how I ended up in a relationship with him. It was not... Hey, hey, we are having sex. No, that's not what happened. And I couldn't fight him off because he's, he's huge. He's massive. He's bigger than me. I mean, I'm really short, you know, and I was bandaged. I was stuffed with painkillers. That's what happened. And I, ne I have never spoken to the press about this. Um, the dockets have been leaked whichever way they've been leaked but i do not speak to the press about this i have not and i was trying to get your attention and how can you get try to get my attention by sending raf that why couldn't you call me and say take out my because i didn't have your number and i was not willing to talk to you if you were not willing to talk to me so I where did you get my number now i got it from mom 
because I couldn't stay anymore. So yeah. why did you not treat me or send me to you? Because I will. I was adamant to not be the first one to reach out when you are the one that did not even try. So. If you're saying you're trying to get my attention by sending that to Ralph, now because we deleted the song, what must happen? Yeah, I'm here as a dog. I'm done, I'm coming. Why did you delete the song? Because the song doesn't exist anymore without those harmonies. But why would you delete it? Why wouldn't you try? You see, this is the thing. What, why trying to get try someone else to do it? No, why don't you try to talk to me? That's what. I, that's all I wanted is to get your attention, to get you to talk to me about something. And your first thought is to just delete the stuff instead of actually just reaching out to me yourself. And say what? And, and, say, and say hey, I don't please. like this. You have no idea. Instead of just call me. Call and say what? And say I don't want to delete the song. And I want you on the song. And tell me that you care about me. You said you're gonna sue sure. us most if we use the your vocals. But you could have that was to get your attention. Like you really don't see that. Uh, family, to get a clear understanding of what's happening in the audio that we've just uh, listened, uh, let me give this short background. These two, as we already know, they are musicians. They have uh, composed a song probably while they were still together. Now that they are no longer in good terms, Lady Zama threatens to sue Java if they continue to use her voice on that song. When Lady Zama said this, she thought as Java was going to beg her, eh, 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 but instead, Java did not and he deleted the song. Lady Zama says, you were not supposed to delete the song. I thought you'd call and beg me but you did not. I thought you would call and tell me how much you care about me. You know, family, Java, by leaking the clip to the public, it says to me that he doesn't love Lady Zama anymore. Now the clip has leaked and went viral. South Africa says, this serves as evidence that Lady Zama is capable of lying, meaning she can do anything to get the attention of Java. Not to be honest, family, I also see a girl who is madly in love with this boy who cannot make her his number one. Remember, we're talking about someone who has a wife and maybe many other girlfriends. Someone who does not have time to beg a girl. According to me, I also say Lady Zama is capable of doing anything to get back Java's attention. If this matter of RAPE is in court, hi <laughs> guys, I don't think Lady Zama is going to win this case. Anyway, that's my own opinion. Anyway, back to the main story. When South Africa gets the leaked audio clip where Lady Zama is saying, I just wanted to get your attention, Lady Zama comes with the following video explaining about how that audio clip came to being. Let's watch and listen to her. Hi, so a couple of days ago I made a video where I was asking how do you guys 
know that I lied and what is the proof of that? And I just wanna, you know, point out this comment up here. Um, and this was the most common one that I saw where the reasons why people um, have this thing that I lied is because of the voice note, which is a recording. It's not a voice note. It is a recording. Now, I'm not making this video for anyone but the Zamar Nation, for the Zamartians, the people that support me, for people that have stood by me, people that probably have heard and listened to the voice recording and just been like, what the hell? Now, I couldn't listen to it for a very long time because everything was still raw, you know? Um, but now I have had an opportunity several times to kind of just listen to it and now I can actually give you guys context on what it was really about and what it is about. Now, just quickly, right, because I've done this part so many times. There was myself, that guy, his producer, um, one or two other people, and somebody who drove me there um, in that apartment. That apartment is in Midrands, right, where this recording was taken. I was not aware that I was being recorded. And so, obviously, um, even the way... I am communicating it's really not with the 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 knowledge that I am being recorded in any way now this was in 2018 there was a vocal performance by me and I did not want my vocal performance on his music I did not want my vocal performance on anything that he was doing at the time and so I had sent an email to my publisher I had cc'd his producer that had produced the song or so to my knowledge had produced the song and I had basically said you have to remove my you know um, vocals I'm not giving you permission to use my vocals and if you continue and you do not want to remove my vocals then I will sue you which is what is what what happens I'll just give you a little background on how the music business works. So we have composers, we have writers, we have all sorts of people. And these people all get rights, right? So when I perform a vocal on a piece of music, um, that is my intellectual property, which means I'm the only person that can give permission to have it used. So if it gets used outside of me giving permission, that is an illegal use. And that was basically what so I had to make a part two because I was too short. So basically that's how it works. I have to give explicit permission that they can use my vocals. It doesn't matter who it is. I have to give permission to use my vocals, right? To use my, even my words. You, you gotta give it intellectual property. So at that time, because I wanted nothing to do with that person, I had said that if you do continue to use my vocals, I will sue you. And I'm heard in the voice clip saying, I did that to get your attention and that is 100% true because if somebody is not responding to you saying I don't want you to use my vocals please delete them the only other way you are able to usually get their attention outside of a personal connection is to alert your publisher and to let them know that your publisher is aware of such things you understand so for people who might think that oh my gosh I'm making this up no I'm not it was an email sent and that email was there, which is probably allegedly why I was being recorded because it was now a legal matter. Why did I not reach out to him personally? Um, because of the, comp the nature of that engagement, I, I had no desire to be um, doing a back and forth, you know? Um, it's a very complicated thing to go through a trauma. Um, but I did try with all my heart and soul to find ways of, around it and in places that I couldn't, I just couldn't, I failed. You know, also considering the fact that I genuinely had always blamed myself and felt like I was the reason why I was in that situation. That something that I had done was, um, was the reason why I was in that thing to begin with, you know. So the voice notes, as you guys call it, the voice recording, which it is, does not link to the case in any way, um, in any sort of way, you know. That was 2018. The ordeal happened in 2017. Um, 
I opened a case in 2019 about, that was like an entire year after that recording. And on top of that, like I said, the last time I'd seen this person was like mid year going into the third quarter of the year. Um, and I opened the case in the fourth quarter, you know, like it was November, October, November, should have been November. Um, yeah. Something that's always disturbed me though is how that voice recording was leaked strategically to make me look like a liar. Family, if everything that Lady Zama is saying in both the videos is the truth, Lady Zama must forget. There is no case here. She is a crying baby who is definitely seeking for attention to a guy who was just using her. She thought maybe Java will develop love for her and ultimately leave his wife for her. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. All I can say is that Java must run for his life, otherwise the worst is still coming. Java must also see this as a lesson and focus on his wife and family before he loses more than what he has already lost. Family, let me hear in the comment section what you are saying about the whole thing. Please give me your opinion about this. And uh, all I can say is thank you very much for watching to the end. Please uh, like this video before you leave. It is very important to like it for the growth of this channel. And uh, subscribe for my channel, family, if you haven't done so yet. I love you. See you on my next upload. Bye.